So I'm putting my swimming lessons, uh, all my equipment and my props and thinking about the different activities I'm going to be doing for my swimming lessons this week. And I thought you might be interested on coming on the journey with me. <laughs> um, so yeah. wildlife week this week for and a gardening week, I believe. So actually, I've decided to do all things about ladybugs. And that's what's going to be for my swimming lesson. And that's what I've decided to do. And this is what uh, our activities I'm going to do. this template from my workshop that I did in uh, January with regards to the uh, seasonal themes for the year. And I'm actually going to use this. What I've decided to do is a little bit too big based on what my experience have been using the other templates I've been doing. And I actually do have these ladybirds here is actually a toothbrush holder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shape of this because I like the size of it um, and I'm going to create recreate this template so even if you did buy this workshop and you do get this still use the template but just do a little bit smaller okay um, so I'm going to use these um, and also what I found as well, and I'm going to go into my garage in a little bit, but I've also found, um, because what summer not with uh, some uh, beautiful flowers, so I've got these, so for the children that are a little bit older, these sink down, and I've also got these little ladybirds as well, um, ladybugs, ladybirds, whatever you want to call them, and I've got some flowers and other flowers, so I'm going to go in my garage now, and I'm going to see what else I can use. So here's my garage with all my stuff here. <laughs> As you can see, there is quite a lot. Um, here are all my orcas. I've just arrived, yay. Um, but anyway, I'm going to um, look through here to see what sort of things that I might want to use. Um, I have some sort of idea. I've got my um, spring theme box here and I've got some things in there that I might use. Um, otherwise, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else. I'm also thinking I've got some bumblebees with some flowers in there, which I might have to come down to look. Um, but I've also got, this is my, I used to do um, what's called a busy box. Um, and these are loads of different props in here that I might use as well. Um, next week, I think uh, next time of a summer theme, I've got some frogs in there, which I'm going to use with lily pads. <laughs> um, but there's some other things in there that I might, might draw out based on so what I'm just opening up my boxes just to see what I might use um, I've got farm theme in here as well harvest and in this bucket here so what I'm going to use you see the butterflies that I used last time um, I'm actually going to use some of these black pom-poms they're going to be going on the um, what I'm going to be making with the craft foam they're actually going to go and collect the black pom-poms to put on the spots on their ladybirds so I'm going to collect some of those um, what else do I have um, in here I've got some poppies and I've got my sunflowers so I'm going to get some of those out um, I do have some other flowers but unfortunately they've uh, been well used so I think I'm going to pass on those ones um, however, I do have in here as well all my ladybirds that I'm going to be getting out. Excuse to say that, <laughs> it needs to be washed. Um, don't need any of those. They are hay bales, but then I've also got my other sunflowers in there. So I'm going to get the flowers and the ladybirds okay, out. Of this in box. this box, I've got some more little flowers that I used for the bee theme. Um, and I think I might use some of these flowers as well. So in my new stuff, in my box of new things, I've actually got some brown pom-poms um, that are a good size. And what I'm thinking about doing, so I've actually got in here, I've got some new, new tulips that I might actually need to use. I've got some new flowers, I might need to use those. I've also got some vases um, that I might use. Some of my other ones are quite old. Um, so I've got some new ones here that I might be able to use. Um, but also what I've got in here is some vases and because it is gardening week and yes ladybirds come but they also come to the flowers um, so I've got vases so what I might have them do is collect these little pots not vases but these little pots 
I'm going to go and collect the dirt to be able to plant the flowers. And then the mini flowers that you saw, I might put the mini flowers then and they go and collect them. So I think that might be another activity that I might add in. Um, I do actually like to have a a few sinkables for the preschoolers that are really quite comfortable um, so I've actually got these silicone stackers but actually for me they got sort of um, similar colour to stones and things so I might actually use these just in case I actually do have a parent and toddler class as well um, which they do enjoy stacking and things um, due to schematic play so I'll probably have those out as well for the parent and toddler class so I'm going to use those so in this box I actually have my Valentine's and also Easter box but I've also got some roses in here so I'm thinking that I might have a good selection of different flowers whether or not they've got stems so they can put in the vases especially for the parent and me toddlers uh, parent and me toddler class uh, they might actually enjoy um, getting the uh, vase uh, getting the flowers to put in the vases and then actually water them I do have some watering cans and things so I think I'm going to take some of these roses Roses as well so in this box I actually have a complete mix of things <laughs> um, but I have my hedgehog theme here that we did and I've also got um, some caterpillars and some worms in here uh, that I might add to it just in case I always like to have more than um, maybe I'll need so I'm actually going to probably fish those out they did seem to really enjoy using these sensory uh, worms and caterpillars on the previous previous one so because they're actually going to be going and getting the uh, soil what there might be in the soil are some worms and things so I might actually add in some of those as well I do have these Melissa and Doug bugs in here uh, they do sink down um, I'm not quite sure uh, I'm gonna put them in my maybe pile just to see I might okay, use those. so now what I need to figure out is how I'm going to store everything so I've got these um, uh, what are these <laughs> buckets <laughs> uh, that I think I might use just to contain everything um, I also do have some trays and things that I might need to get out okay, as well so I've got everything out now from the boxes as to what I'm thinking about using so I've got flowers vases the ladybirds with the black pom-poms I've got some brown pom-poms with my pot plants and I think I'm going to use that tray. I do have a basket but I'm sure I think I might take that but I'm not sure and I've got caterpillar and worms and then also the bugs plus the flowers that I have in the house. Think, um, these flowers were actually well used, well loved for the last couple of years. I'm thinking rather than just throwing them away, I was actually going to throw them away, um, rather than throwing them away and reusing them, I've actually started taking the petals off, um, the leaves off and the petals and what I could do is I could use that for a different uh, lesson at a different time. So I'm just going to pull them apart and keep them and store them because uh, I might uh, think of something to do with those uh, for a later I've lesson. I've got everything in my bag and I'm going to head into the house and start preparing and putting my activities together. This is my garden and it's actually giving me the inspiration today as to what to do for my swimming lessons next week. So I've got all these beautiful flowers around um, and obviously lemon <laughs> uh, to uh, see why I get the ideas that I do from my surroundings. So I have another box of goodies in here. Um, yeah, I have other props that I've used before. Um, I've got all my song sheets and things in here. Uh, so I'm just going to go through to see if I've got any songs. Uh, that one looks good. I'm not use that one. Some any other songs and things in here that I've used before. And um, if I don't find it, then I will have a look on my computer to print it. Uh, I've off. got um, this movement cube. Uh, which I have used before. Um, I might actually take that just in case because I do have an older class uh, so I might actually take that to see if they might want to play a game at the end. Also to show you that this is my creative boxes as well. <laughs> um, I've used these in my workshops to give you examples um, and I've also got um, craft foam uh, all different types of craft foam in here and here's some other different uh, sort of 
the materials that I have here as well that I use and also in my cupboard here I've got lots of different materials in here that I will use um, to well, have a look oh, at. I, I haven't found the songs that I wanted to sing so I'm now going to search on my previous workshops and booklets that I have already uh, done and created for you guys. Um, so I'm actually going to pull up a couple of those um, and actually uh, print off the songs. Uh, I like this song here that I'm going to use um, and also I've got uh, this one here because we're actually doing the uh, shoveling <laughs> um, and we're going to be planting so I might take actually going to print this song sheet off because I might use those um, and also I think I might use a different one where I used in workshop one Type that in, <clears throat> if I can actually type, and go to projects, uh, workshop one, put in booklet, attachments. <laughs> This is the booklet that you actually get for workshop one and I'm going to find the song that I wanted to sing. Uh, let's scroll down. Uh, there's the bee one, I don't want that one. Uh, butterfly we did, busy bee we've done. Butterflies, there's my ladybird. Uh, I need to have a look through here to see if there's one I need. I will actually use these uh, that I've got printables as part of the booklet as well. That's what I will be writing on in a minute to write what my activity ideas are. So what I do now is I get my themed activity ideas sheet um, and also this lesson planner that I have that breaks down uh, what the structure will be or the core structure is for the lesson. Um, I've got my songs here that I've got laminated that I will use so I can put on the list there of what uh, which songs I'll be using. They were from, this was from the freebies um, and these songs are actually on the bundles, the spring spring bundle and also from workshop one as well. Then what I'll end up doing is doing my ladybirds there. I don't think I've got enough black pom-poms, so I think I'll have to nip to the shop in a little bit to, to go and get some more pom-poms for that. Then also what I showed you earlier is that I've got these and then I'll put everything together. So this is what I'm going to do next. So I've done my themed activity ideas. I've written down what I'd like to do based on what I've got out. Um, and I've had a think about what sort of things go with what. Um, I've put the songs together that I will use. I might not necessarily use them all, but I've got them there if I need them. So this is what I'm going to do. Then I actually put it out onto my lesson planner of the activities that I'll do according to the course structure that I've done. Again, this is just a plan. It's just some ideas. When I'm actually doing it, it might be different. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it goes this week. But this is what I'm doing. Main thing for me is, is that... What I've done is that it's more of a story. So the main, so the things that they do first is that they will actually plant their flowers um, and then they will pick up. Uh, there's always some caterpillars or worms that are always in the way. So they're actually going to be doing some wall climbs as they are going along. Um, and they're going to be picking up the caterpillars and worms as they're going along as if they're picking them out of the ground. And then with the breath control, what we'll probably do is using the flowers here. And what they're going to do is they are um, 
collecting them and taking them back to the vases uh, and they're going to be blowing bubbles as they're doing that and then I'm going to be watering them over so they've got their planting of the flower which is part of the story then what flies over are the ladybirds and they're going to be flying over um, and landing on the flowers so we've got these flowers here if they do want to go off and go and collect these little um, ladybirds I've got those if they wish to do that and add on an extra activity if I want him to if I've got time I've also got those to add to that um, they're going to be collecting their spots on their tummy so they will be using uh, these to actually put on their tummies because they all lie flat and then they can put the pom-poms in the in those holders um, and then what they're going to do is according to however many of the spots they've got they will be doing their breath control according to that um, and then for the high abilities they'll do their sink downs with the stones um, and the flowers and then what I've decided to do for the parent and toddler, they're going to do a little bit of a song. They're going to do a song here. Um, there's a group activity for parent and toddler. Um, and then um, I don't tend to do too many songs uh, unless they're on the move for the preschoolers. But then for the parent and toddler, I will always do a goodbye song. Now, when they're doing their safety skills, they're either doing their jumps and they're coming, uh, jumping in, or they, if they don't want to, which is the same for preschool, they will show me how they get in safely and then they go down and blow their bubbles and come back up and then climb up and out. If there is a child that is reluctant about climbing out, I was thinking about putting these out on the side where they go and collect them, sit down, put them on their ladybird, and then they can do their little bit of a jump. You can add in a little bit of a song if you want to for that as well so that, so is, that is how I that's how I prepare my lessons with regards to how I get my props then I think about the ideas of what I'm going to be doing then I put to all the activities using the different props that I've chosen and um, I always use noodles with correctors I always use my orcas for the uh, preschoolers and toddlers starting 18 months old um, and I will show you pictures of this week of how it goes so Hope you like it. Bye.